Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson. Now in this one what we're going to do is we're going to more or less create all the models that we need for our application. Now, like I said, more or less, because later on we might discover that we want to add something to the forum that we didn't plan for. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because if you're building an application, you can ask all the right questions to your client and you kind of build up your application. Then later on your client decides, listen, I want to add X, Y, and Z to my application. Can I do that or cannot I do that? So there's basically, normally there's unforeseen things that you didn't plan for in your application. All right. So if that does happen, let's add it. If it's not, we don't add it. Okay. So that's why some of these relationships, like the reply, I will make a polymorphic relationship, the tag as well, and the category. So, um, yes, maybe, maybe, maybe the category. So we're going to use polymorphic for these relationships. The reason for that is because of unplanned, unseen circumstances that might happen. So if we need another reply, let's say the the customer or whoever builds it want to add articles, then we can actually use the same reply model for that or the category or the tag. So just kind of to prepare us if for unforeseen circumstances something happens. All right. So that's why we don't want to just limit ourselves to one thing. All right. Polymorphic relationship for these and that. All right. So let's go to the website quickly. As you can see, what we have right now, we've got a single thread. So as you can see, we've got a category discussion in the topic. So obviously the person is uh, mentioning something here and somebody can reply to that. So basically this is our models right here. So that's our thread model and we have a reply model and we have a like model right here and a category model and subscribe to this thread. So if a person subscribes to the thread, they will be notified as soon as something happens or replies or something in this forum. So either via email or just a database notification on their dashboard. So basically a little icon displaying like, listen, you've got a new notification. We can do that. We can see as, the, as we progress along what we're going to do there. All right. So what we're going to do now is we can, we're going to create these models with their migrations. And yes, let's get started. All right, so let's create our first model. So we already got our user model. So we're not going to create any methods inside them. We're just going to create the models with the migrations. And that's it. All right, so let's start with the first one. First one we're going to do is we're going to do the threat one. All right, so let's open up our terminal. So how do we create a model? So it's PHP, artisan, make. And then we can just say model, model like this. And then we're going to just call it the threat model. And we're just going to put a dash M for the migration. I don't want to create the controller yet or the factories in this case. I want to create them on its own. For now, we're just going to create them. Because what you can do is you can just do MFC. So basically what that does is create the model, the factory, and the controller. But I will create the controller and the factory on its own because I kind of want to structure where the thread and all that kind of stuff must go. All right, for now, let's just do the thread with the migration. So if we do that, as you can see, it created the model with the migration. So let's quickly show you. So what happened now is under our models, you can see we've got our thread model right here. There's nothing in there except the default, uh, default stubs. And what we can do is on our database migration, you will see we have our threads migration right there. Okay. So the next part that we're going to do, let's create another model. So I don't have to repeat that again. So let me just do the like. All right. So the next one is PHP. I'll just make. All right. So what we're going to make, we're going to create the like uh, model. And it's just going to be the like model with a migration. Okay, so let's just do that. All right, so next one is the reply, PHP artisan make model. 
and that's going to be the apply model and with its migration so as you can see it creates a replies table all good stuff so the next thing is php artisan Let's just do this the model and it's going to be the subscription model with its migration Okay, tag all with this migration. Yeah, then the category model with its migration. So obviously we don't need to do the user because it's already being all right. So we go basically let's see we got all our models, we got our category model. Let's see, let's start from the top there. We got our tag model, thread model. And then we've got our like model in there. Then we've got our reply, subscription, and tag and category. So we've got all our models. And then obviously in our database right there, we're going to have our migrations. And then we've got all our migrations right here. So threads, likes, replies, subscriptions, tags, and categories. So we've got all our models ready. All right. So in the next one, we're going to just start off with our thread model and then we're going to continue because before we can make a thread we actually need the category in the tag as well so let's see what we start with and then let's get started with the whole thing so this will be a short video just to prepare us for the coming ones all right so what we're going to do is we're going to add some meat to our website and yes so that we can start building this up all right, thank you guys for watching. And in the next one, we're going to be able to see which model we're going to start with. I'm just going to think which one will be the best. Because if we're going to in a model right here, let's say we're going to create a discussion. So we need to be able to select a category. And I want the categories to be able to come from the database. And obviously, the next one underneath here needs to be a tag as well. So we need to create some models first before we can actually do the threat model. All right, so I think the, the first one that we're going to start with is the category, and then we're going to do the tag. Because if we want to create a thread, we need those two. All right, so let's start with the category in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Like it if you give it a like, dislike it, obviously, and some positive or negative feedback appreciated. And if you have any 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 questions, please ask them, and I will do my best to answer them. And if I cannot, I will let you know because I don't know everything. I'm um, just, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.